Hey guys, just going to talk about my new 2015 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited Sport S. Um, as you can tell with those highway tires. It's an Anvil. It is not a Willis nor an Oscar Mike. I just put those badges on there because I really liked them. It has the 373 gear ratio in the axles with a limited slip differential in the rear. Dana 44 heavy duty, Dana 30 regular, which is basically the same as the Willis. I put the Rubicon rock rails on there from a takeoff Rubicon. It cost me a hundred bucks. I put them on myself. It was a rather easy installation. Um, came with the 3.6 liter Pentastar engine which is under that y'all don't need to see that because it's all over the internet I'm sure you've already done your research these mirrors are heated side mirrors I thought that was cool when I got it it's kind of thrown in it's got an auto dimming rear view mirror up there which it's not really off-road but it really helps because a lot of people around here will drive with their brights on at night and it aggravates the shit out of me And those are the stock tires. I've ordered some uh, the rims that come on the Rubicon as well as the tires. I got them for a great deal all together. So I'm going to put those on and use them only as my winter tires. Because these actually work great in the winter. You don't need to really knock these. I was in heavy snow and ice during a Nashville storm this year. And... I gotta tell you, it's pretty hilly up there, and they handled astoundingly well. And it's got, if you can see, skid plates underneath. The front one, however, that looks like a skid plate is not a skid plate. It is simply plastic. Um, but I've got ample amount of ground clearance. I really won't have to worry about that. For a while, it comes with a hard top. It's got the back tinted glass, so no one can really pink in there. This used to be the color on the 10th anniversary Rubicon, but I suppose they just had a lot of extra over it, so they went ahead and put them on all other colors. I really enjoy it. Uh, got the tire cover on that four wheel drive sticker. I've ordered the tail light guards. So I didn't have to drill into the body for that. Ordered the gas cap, which is a lot more difficult than you think to put it in. It's not just drilling this around and now you gotta take the whole tail light assembly out. That took like a whole 20 minutes. Thought it was five. Rock rail, as you can see, I've got the Mopar door guards because people Apparently you have scratched them up on other people's Jeeps, so I did a lot of research and was like, hey, that's not going to happen with mine. Seat covers, the grab handles that are on the Willis. I've got the, can't really tell, but I've got the slush mats from Mopar in there. Zombies versus Nazis, because you never know when zombies or Nazis are going to strike. We got a Atlas. Just in case GPS systems go down. I've taken it off road quite a bit already. Mainly around here in the south. Got several badges. Willis badge. Because nobody wants to hear beeping. There's that auto dimming rear view mirror. It works really well. It's got two map lights in there. Um, I wish they had kind of faced the map lights kind of forward because it's kind of wasted right there. But um, yeah, whatever. The always present grab handle in the Wranglers. I put a head unit from my old Xterra in. The dealership was kind enough to. Let me take the radio out of it and put it in here. Um, touch screen, Bluetooth, microphone, satellite hookup. Um, 
changed out the speakers in here, some kickers, really nice. Um, there's my mileage I got on there. So it's pretty well broken in. I haven't had any problems out of it. It's been rather well. Um, no creaking, no um, death wobble, none of that. As of yet, knock on wood. Jeep. I didn't get the Evix system because I didn't know how long I would have this Jeep. I had the Xterra from 2006 to pretty much the tail end of 2014. There was a lot of problems surrounding the Xterra, so before I started having them, I decided to just go ahead and trade it off. It gave me a pretty decent price on it. Yeah, I don't have the Evix system. It's just going to be, you know, standard. Um, I'll let you see it here. Got uh, all those nice little lights. Come on. You got your compass. This changes it over. Gas mileage. Now, I've been going around the city a lot. Um, when I take my highway trips, I've ended up actually getting uh, 26 miles to the gallon somehow. Um, I usually just try to keep it within that green parameter there. Miles to empty. And then you got a timer. Temperature, compass, yeah. And that's the touch screen. Pretty standard Pioneer stuff. HD digital radio, disc, series satellite radio, USB iPod interface, audio, Bluetooth controls, auxiliary, all that good stuff. And then I can color match it to match the interior lights. I've got the heel start assist, which comes on all of the Jeeps now. I didn't have climate control in here, but I do have the AC and heat and all that good stuff and whatever. Um, there's a nice shifter. And then I really like, because a lot of people are going to like these knobs and the exterior. It had a, it had a knob for four-wheel drive. This one's got a nice beefy manual lever for high. And then you put it in neutral going at like two or three miles an hour and then drop it into four low, whatever. Um, can't really see this right here, I don't think. Maybe barely. You know, caution lights, everybody's got that. Trash control, most people are getting that now. And then this is heel descent control, which is nice. It comes on the automatic ones, um, if you get that option. Uh, the limited slip differential in the back is always on, just in case you were wondering. Um, you got a nice little bit there. I usually put wallets and um, sometimes napkins in there. Uh, vents, articulate. Um, if you're wondering, all this mainly has to come off as one piece when you're doing um, head unit replacement or um, I believe speaker replacement. Most of that's got to pop off. I've got the automatic windows, uh, one touch down for the front, and automatic door locks. I got some medical stuff in here. You never know when you're going to get busted up on a trail falling on a rock. You're trying to get up under there and see if you scratch your skid plate like an idiot and you fall down. But anyway, that guy's okay now. Grab handles. It's pretty roomy in here. I definitely would suggest this to anybody with a family. Um, it's pretty roomy. The off-road ability is pretty nice. Even in the stock tires, as I said, you know, there are some limitations, especially when you get out to the muddier areas. But, um, overall, I would definitely recommend this vehicle. Most people are getting the Saharas now and the Rubicons, and that's your personal, personal preference. You know, it's your Jeep, do what you want to do. You know, I want to get, you know, some bigger tires on here, probably, um, shoot. I might put a locker in here after I pay it off. I'm trying to pay it off in two years. Um, but yeah, this is basically the 2015 Wrangler. I'll put some off-road videos up whenever I can. Um, just haven't been able to get around to it lately. If you guys got any questions about it, about even the Pioneer head unit or anything else about this vehicle, just holler at me. Let me know.